Happy Monday, Reject Nation. How you doing? G Alba here. J Train here. Speaking of J, J Killenhall. Whoa, 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 whoa. J and the G, Jake Gyllenhaal is in the news today because he is going to be playing supposedly Mysterio, Quentin Beck, supposedly for the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel. And I think Jake Gyllenhaal, in terms of performance, is perfect for this guy. Mm -hmm. I kind of was hoping that if they were ever to bring Mysterio to the big screen, because I grew up watching the Spider-Man animated series, Quentin Beck's not a very attractive looking dude. And Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal's <laughs> a pretty attractive guy. Although I think what a lot of, my, what I'm assuming a lot of people are going to be going back to is, remember him in Nightcrawler though? He's like really creepy. Oh yeah, nowadays he's willing to like immerse himself and yeah, you know, yeah. alter his physical appearance and hide his yeah. beautiful mug. I mean, it's, it's all in the way he comes across that can make him seem kind Kind of uh, just creepy. I feel like he would be good for that. I mean, I like this character a lot. He's always, I think because growing up in LA, he was a character I was always very drawn to. The guy was like a visual effects guy and he was also and a stuntman. Yeah. I believe the way how the story goes with him, he also tried becoming an actor. He wasn't able to make his way into Hollywood. Eventually he got into like the, the theatrics. So he decided to frame Spider-Man. Spider-Man even started thinking he was going crazy. He was able to create his, the costume and the webs, like create designs to make it look like Spider-Man. Spider-Man was committing crimes. Remember, Peter Parker was like thinking he's actually nuts. Eventually, you know, Spider-Man was able to take the guy down. Guy went to jail. And I believe, too, that Mysterio does become a part of the Sinister Six, which includes like Doc Ock. I believe Vulture's in the Sinister Six. Knowing that this movie is also in Sony's hands as well, I'm wondering if they are trying to segue into Sinister Six again. Yeah, they wanted to with the Amazing series, and I bet they want to now. They have like several villains already already established. Michael Keaton's already confirmed to return for a Spider-Man Homecoming 2. And then they even tease like Scorpion and they also had Shocker in there. Vulture and Scorpion are in prison together. I guess the big worry that can come into this is that it could go into sequel overload again. <laughs> I know? can definitely see that, especially with the Spider-Man movies. I wonder if Sony's trying to pick up the mantle for WB after Suicide Squad crash because it seems like right now they're leading with Venom. They've got this new big villain and Sony's going to distribute Homecoming too so that that yeah. makes me wonder all kinds of things about what their plans are i think jake john hall though would be awesome to have in the movie some people are saying he's confirmed some people are saying he's just in talks for the movie jake john hall is that other leo where you were like why yeah. hasn't this dude won an oscar yet and in some ways i think some people would say that jake john hall might be even more talented in terms of range than someone like leonardo dicaprio it's funny because jake john hall i remember at one point was it was in talks to play spider-man in the Raimi series yeah, <laughs> yeah. That. i I don't know, I just find Jake Gyllenhaal so much sexier and Tobey Maguire so much nerdier. Yeah, well, that's the thing with Gyllenhaal. It could be sexy or creepy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but is either of those right for yeah. me? I, I, I would have cast him as Harry, maybe. This kind of villain is, is a type of villain I've always been drawn to because of the fact of how his career was based out in filmmaking, doing yeah. stunts, doing visual effects. This guy also has like hypnotic abilities. I'm wondering how they're gonna tone this character down because a lot of times when you watch the cartoons or you read the comics, these characters are really like loud and spouting evil things. Ha ha, Spider-Man! Yeah, 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 I kind of don't hope they do that for Mysterio no, here. Jake Jonah's perfect for that kind of delivery. And also <laughs> knowing what they did with the Vulture costume in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming 1. Yeah. That does make me wonder, are yeah. they gonna bring the fishbowl head? The cape and the green and the, yeah. That could look so Silly in a movie. They like decided to update it in Spider-Man Homecoming 1 where it's like really high tech and he's got the cool mask and everything. So maybe they'll do some modern day update on it so to make the fishbowl head look cool. Or they'll like give some kind of explanation that like it really gives him these powers somehow and here's the science of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, like we do now. I think it would be neat if uh, it was kind of like a step one suit. You know, kind of how like hmm. Spidey has like that the old hoodie. school. Yeah, yeah, the hoodie suit. I think it'd be fun if he had this like kind of cheesy looking step one suit yeah, that he like comes he out to the scene with. Well, this will be the first time that we've, we've seen Mysterio like live action on screen, right? Yeah. Like that's actually exciting to me because in a time where we have, you know, so many characters being realized and being put up, it's like weird to think like, oh yeah, we've not 
seen Mysterio yet, and especially no, no, no. with how strong the villain was in Homecoming and, and kind of helping to set that movie apart, this actually makes me look that much more forward to Homecoming too. Mm -hmm. You know, especially because Jake Gyllenhaal and, and, and Tom Holland playing off each other, I can only imagine, is probably going to be pretty fun. I feel like it could potentially go down some minor Green Goblin territory from the first Spider-Man movie because of the type of villain Mysterio is, and also, I, I believe he was setting up to frame Spider-Man because he wanted to unveil himself as a hero, make himself look like a good guy. I remember Mysterio was inspired by the Daily Bugle, and there's even some meeting he has with the Daily Bugle before Spider-Man catches him. I don't think, though, the Daily Bugle will be involved in this, so they're gonna have to tweak some origin stuff. It's not the biggest part of Mysterio's origins, but I think it would be neat to at least include the Daily Bugle and doing reports on how Spider-Man's not really a good hero, but yeah. you don't have to go and see the behind the scenes of the Daily Bugle. You don't have to go and see J. Jonah Jameson. You can still keep Peter Parker in high school and still have all that. You could just have a recurring- happening. Yeah, yeah, you could just have the recurring motif of the headlines getting worse and worse and worse and have the Bugle yeah. be not so much an intimate place that we know about right now for, especially, you know, Spider-Man's not working there at all yet. Yeah. Uh, you know, you just have it be this force. That's kind of appropriate for now too, with mm -hmm. the news being as tenuous as it is for people. If I were to make a prediction on this, with Vulture still being back, and if they're not going to do villain overload, I would imagine that Mysterio probably goes to jail early on in the film. Maybe midpoint or beginning of Act 2, somehow Vulture does reveal to Mysterio who Spider-Man really is. And then Mysterio starts using that against Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. Like that, that's how I imagine they'd use him, especially because they have confirmed Michael Keaton's coming back. But I don't know. I mean, uh, this, this this is still exciting to me because Jalen Hall is one of my favorite actors around right now. Yeah, totally. So this this is still really cool news, and I'm excited for it, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, what do you think about Jake Jalen Hall being cast as Mysterio? Do you wish they got Steve Buscemi instead? Oh, that'd be cool. You guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell because subscribe buttons don't really work. Check us out on Patreon. Full-length TV show reactions, music video coverage, weekly Q&As, a whole bunch of goodies offered over there. We'd love to have you become a Patreon eject today. Please.